Okay, let's start. Uh, let's uh, study the tree point growth. Uh, first, the, the first the definition of tree point growth uh, is uh, something like uh, the double integral or similar to the double uh, integral. The triple integral f x y z dv is actually the limit n tends to infinity or uh, delta v tends to in infinity i from 1 to n to n f x i star y i star uh, z i star times delta v i here delta v x is the maximum delta v i that is the the volume of the the volume of the uh, small box uh, we can deduce, deduce the definition for triple integral from a practical problem uh, find the mass Solid object uh, with density. The density uh, is not constant, uh, like f x y z. Suppose this the the solid object is like this. Its density is not constant. Uh, it, it varies from point to point. Then how to find the find the, uh, the mass for this object? <clears throat> First we we can use the x equals constant, y equals constant, and z equals constant to subdivide the solid object into small boxes. Uh, into a small box. into small boxes here is the small boxes into small boxes uh, because the boxes the box uh, these small boxes are small enough so we can consider the uh, density in the, we we can regard the, uh, the density as a constant in in the small boxes. We choose any point which say that this box is, is v i delta v i. Its volume is delta v i. Then uh, this line is the uh, dy. This length is dx and the height is dz. So the mass is fxi yi star. We choose any point. fxi yi zi is any point in the uh, in the boxes in the box 
because the box is small enough, so uh, the density uh, varies little, almost, almost, almost constant. So the density, we, we uh, consider any point in in the box, then the density at this point can be uh, regarded as uh, density in the box boxes in the box, and this is the density and times the the volume that is uh, the approximate by this so. so add all uh, mi together. That is i from one to n f x i star y i star and z i star times delta v i or well, delta v i can be write as or delta v i can be write as uh, delta x i delta y i times delta y i times delta z i then we take the limit uh, let the delta v i tends to zero delta v or delta v i tends to zero so we let delta v tends to zero or n tends to infinity i from one to n f x i star y i star and z i star times delta v i here delta v is the maximum of delta v i that is the, that is the max the volume of the uh, max box box is tend to, to zero then here is limit and uh, summation uh, we can write as triple integral because there are three three independent variable that is f x y c d v or in in rectangular triple integral or in re rectangular uh, coordinates that is f x y z d x d y d z that's the definition from a practical problem. So that is the mass with uh, with variable ten, uh, ten, uh, density function. Now let's uh, uh, go to the computation. The computation is that. Uh, first, we need to uh, sketch sketch the region. If the region is bounded by uh, here. If the region is bounded by uh, z equals g two x y, it's g one x y, and then project the region to x y. If the projection, if the projection is the region D in the plan, the D may be bounded by uh, y equals h2x and h1x and from a b so the first we sketch the region then we write the region as a, as a set x y z uh, if z is the first uh, is the first variable we integrate, that is z should be 
bounded by two uh, two surfaces. And for the upper limit and the lower limit for z, we draw a line parallel to the axis. The surfaces, the, the, the surface uh, close to the head is the upper limit, so that g2 x y, and the surface close to the tail, that is the lower limit. And then y. Y should be bounded by h1x and h2x. For the upper limit and the lower limit, we draw a arrow uh, parallel to the y-axis. And the, the curve for y at the upper limit and the lower limit is a curve, uh, are curves are curves of x and uh, the for x is bounded by the last integral is the upper limit and the lower limit for the last variable are constant and then the triple integral f x y z dv can be write as ax from a to b, y from h1x to h2x, and z is g1x y to g2x y, then fx y z, dz first, then dy, then dx. The computation is like that. First, we uh, get the upper limit and the lower limit for z. The, fir the, in the first integral is the upper limit and the lower limit for the first integral uh, are surfaces. The second integral are curves, and uh, the last one are constant. That's the uh, that's the computation, or sometimes we write as z is g one x y to g two x y f x y z d z and d y d x. Uh, the d here is the double integral, and there's some other orders. Maybe we. That's the uh, that's the uh, first, or maybe for other orders. If the if the surface is, is right as y y equals if the surface is, is y. Maybe we can integrate x uh, for y first. If y is bounded by the uh, g one x z and uh, g two x z, and then we uh, projection for some other orders. Uh, uh, if the surface is, uh, is for uh, right as the equation for y y equals C e g1 x z and g2 x z then we can write as uh, integration for y first and c x x maybe from a to b then we in uh, okay we draw another one If the surfaces 
is bounded by uh, is bounded by y y is bounded by first we can write the, uh, the set is uh, like that uh, y is, the surface is as y equals uh, g2xz and uh, uh, g1xz the region is here uh, xz belongs to the uh, region d the region d is on xz plane then the triple integral can be write as uh, integration on d then the g1 xz g2 xz f x y z then the dy first then dz dx dz dx on the region d that's the computation and we we can see there, there's some uh, some in some other uh, cases that uh, we can in integration integrate x first that's all the similar let's take some examples uh, the first example is that we integrate evaluate the triple int integral x dx dy dz where v is enclosed by x uh, plus 2y plus z equals 1 and uh, coordinates planes The planes like uh, uh, the coordinate planes can be written as the equation x equals zero, y equals zero, and z equals zero. First, we sketch the region. By the intercept form of plane, x plus two y plus z equals uh, one. That is z here, z is one. One, that's one half the inter intercept form and three and three coordinates okay. this plane is c equals zero this plane this plane is uh, y equals zero and this plane is x equals zero so first we find the find the upper limit and the lower limit for C. So the region can be written as X Y Z. The upper limit and lower limit for Z is zero to the plane. We know that the this this plane is c equal zero so we draw a uh, a line parallel to z the tail the tail is c equal zero and the head close in the, the surface close to the head is the plane plane is we can write as the z equals one minus two y minus x and the, uh, the the region on x y plane is is the is a triangle. So y is uh, from zero. This line is the x axis is y equal zero, and uh, uh, the line the hypotenuse line for the triangle. As one minus x, or oh, one, uh, 
that's one x plus two y equals one. That one half minus one half x. And uh, for x is bounded by zero and one. Here is one. Here is zero. So x axis, y axis, z axis. After we get we got the region. Then we can write the triple integral as iteration integral. x from 0 to 1, y from 0 to 1 half minus 1 half x, and z is from 0 to the 1 minus x minus 2y, and x dz dy dx. Uh, there's uh, there's no z here, so we write a, uh, we regard x as constant, so that is x z z from zero to one minus x minus two y dy dx. Then uh, we use the uh, fundamental theorem to insert the, the value of z that is x times 1 minus x minus 2y then dy dx from 0 to 1 we integrate integrate for y that is uh, x y times minus x square times y minus x y square for y as from 0 to 1 half minus 1 half x dx then uh, insert the y value into the function that is uh, x minus x square uh, times one half minus one half x we uh, th these two these this two terms we write as the, the one minus x times one half minus one half x square then dx That is uh, one half x minus one half x square minus one half x square uh, plus one half x cube uh, minus x that is one fourth uh, minus one half x plus one fourth x square. dx uh, 0 to 1 1 half that's 1 fourth x so that is a 3 over 4 x uh, x square uh, that is x square uh, 1 half x square that's x negative one half x squared, so that is minus one half x squared. Uh, that's one half x cube. That's that's minus one fourth x cube. So that plus one fourth x cube. And dx. Uh, that is three over h x squared minus one over six x cube. Uh, plus uh, 1 over 16x of force 0 to 1 that is 3 over 8 minus 1 over 6 plus uh, 1 over 16 uh, that is mm, 
18 over uh, 48 minus um, 8 over 48 plus 3 over 48 48 so that is uh, 13 over 48 that's the first example Uh, the second one uh, evaluate the triple integral v x y square z cube dv where v is enclosed by z equals x y y equals x x equals 1 and z equals 0 the solution is first we draw the graph of this region of the region z equals x y is like like this the maximum actually the maximum is The maximum part is actually the z equals uh, uh, x equals y, and then that's z equals x y, and y equals x is this is this plane. So let's know this part, and x equals one. That's x equals one. This plane is x equals one, and z equals z equals zero is x y plane. Okay, so uh, we find the uh, find the uh, upper limit and the lower limit by writing the v as a set. We draw a line parallel to z axis and with, with, with arrow. The tail for, for z is z equals 0. That is the x y plane. And the, <coughs> uh, the surface close to the head is z equals x y. So the upper limit for for z is x y, and the in the region for x y for x y as uh, x uh, y, y equals x y equals zero and uh, x equals one. So the upper limit for lower limit for y for y the upper limit is x. That's the x x. Uh, y equals x is the upper limit for, for y and 0 is the lower limit and x is from 0 to 1 then the triple integral x y squared z cube dv x is from 0 to 1 y is from 0 to x z is from 0 to x y so x y squared z cube dz dy dx and that is x y squared times 1 4 z 4 4 
from 0 to x, y, d, y, d, x. That is x, y squared times x fourth, y fourth times 1 here, that's constant. We can take the constant offset and dy dx. We integrate y second. There's y6. That is x5 times 1 over 7. y7 seven from 0 to x. That is 1 fourth times 1 over 7 from 0 to 1 x of 12 that is 28 times 12 uh, times 13 x of 13 0 to 1 so that is 1 over 28 times 13. That's the second example. For these two, uh, the examples are uh, integrate the z first. Let's see some other order. For some, uh, for other order. Uh, find the volume of solid region bounded by x equals z square x plus y equals 4 and y equals 0 the when uh, how to find the volume uh, in double integral we can find the volume uh, we can use the double integral to find the volume but in the uh, use triple integral, we can know that the volume is actually the dv because because uh, we add all or delta v is actually the v then take the limit so the volume that is actually the one uh, the triple integral of one Uh, that's the volume. Uh, we know that for uh, for double integral, the area is one dA. That's this, this, this same uh, the same theorem. That is the integral for integral for one in triple integral is the volume, and integral integrate for one in the double integral is the area. Then. We know that the volume is the uh, integrate for one for triple integral. Now we draw the graph for this region first. Z uh, x equals equals the z square. That is x this is parallel to y-axis that's the z equals uh, x equals z square and the x plus y equals 4 we can draw this maybe longer x plus y equals 4 that is uh, 
control that that is this is uh, is this plane. So the actually region, the actually region is like this. Actually, the region is like this. And this part. The region is like this part. I can draw here. Uh, from here. Like this, from the <coughs> the origin, the, the origin is like this. The region is like this. Is this part? In this, uh. In this example, uh, maybe it's easier to uh, to integrate integrate y first. Maybe it's easier because the the region is parallel to parallel to y axis. Then we uh, write the region as a set x y z. The y is the the lower uh, the, the lower limit for y is y equals zero because the, here y is zero and the upper limit is this plane x plus y equals four x equals y x plus y equals four so y equals four minus x and the the region for x z for x z that is x equals x equals z square and uh, the x equals four because x plus y equals four when y equals zero x equals four when y equals zero x equals four. So the x uh, the the region for x z plane. So uh, we use we we use the z as the last integration. The z is between negative two to two because z uh, x equals y square and for x for x the uh, we draw, for for the upper limit and the lower limit we draw a arrow uh, parallel to x the lower uh, the, the curve close to the tail is z equals uh, x equals z square the the curve close to the head as x equals 4. After uh, th that's the upper limit lower limit for x, y, z. After we find the upper limits and the lower limits, then we can write the triple integral as iterated integral. The z is the last is the last integral. The x is the second, that is z squared to 4, 
y is 0 to 4 minus x, then dy first, dx the second, and dz the last. Negative 2 to 2, and z square to 4. dy, so that is 4 minus x, then dx dz. Negative 2 to 2, 4 minus x, that is 4x minus 1 half x squared from z squared to 4, then dz. Negative 2 to 2, uh, insert the uh, value, insert 4 as 16 minus 8 minus z squared. Uh, Insert z square for z square plus one half z of four, then dz. That is negative two to two, h minus four z square plus one half z fourth z of four. This is hz. Hz minus minus four over three z cube plus one over ten z of four uh, of five negative two to two that is sixteen uh, minus four over three times q, uh, h plus 1 over 10 times 20, uh, 32 minus uh, negative 16 uh, minus 4 over 3 times negative h um, plus uh, 1 over 10 uh, negative 32 this 2 is 32 as 32 uh, 32 over 3 32 over 3 negative 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 uh, that is minus 16 4 over 3 that is plus 16 4 over 10 That's the last answer. We we I don't want to write the oh maybe I don't want to write a uh, cal calculate for the fractions. Okay, that's the triple integral in rectangular coordinates. We can use any order, but but we always try to find the best order to uh, to integrate uh, to integrate the triple integral